Um, yeah. Not the start of a weekend we wanted really, is it? Sorry boys. I uh, had a little crash at turn, well, the final chicane. Gert Timmer chicane. Gert Timmer chicane. Uh, did nothing wrong, uh, apart from crashed it. So now I've went into, went into the first the first right and off the throttle, which just came round. And um, it managed to stay on one side, but it's hit the kerb. These new fucking kerbs they've put in to stop people exceeding track limits has basically just ripped the engine casing off and sport, spurted oil out everywhere and Cheatham high-sided on my oil. Um, I mean, I think realistically we got away with it quite lightly, although these boys have obviously grafted him, but we've got done a handlebar, clutch, the magnesium clutch cover, uh, pegs, obviously a bit of fairing and stuff, but I think we got away with it. Um, but I think I was ninth, was I? Uh, yeah, so qualifying later on. Shame because the bike was working well, just got a minor issue. There we go. So we're uh, about to go up for qualifying. I think we've got another hour and a bike, just over an hour. Bike's back together, looking sweet. Um, especially the numbers. Well done, James. <laughs> we haven't got the. Uh, that's, that's, that's good. It looks fine. From a mile away. Um, so yeah, everything's been replaced. It was fine from row eight, anyway. From the front row, looking back. That was All right, mate. Chill out. Uh, bit of damage to the fairings, but obviously there's a new peg, new cover, new GB racing cover, and a new handlebar bar and brake lever. So yeah, we're all good. I'm gonna go and see Shark now to go and inspect the damage because I've, uh, I think, I've mangled my helmet. Don't say fuck or bugger. Um, is it okay? Is it okay? Yeah, it's literally just not impacted. Yeah. You know, it's literally just Scuffed. just touched and just skimmed. Right. So, he's okay. Just needs a bit of a touch up. He's good to go again. Thank you, mate. Uh, Saturday? No, it's Friday, isn't it? That's a good start. Friday, still Friday, after qualifying, and um, P9 for me. Boys, an, am an amazing. Not it wasn't amazing. It was B amazing. A job of rebuilding the bike. Uh, bike's mint, and 
Amazing. Pardon? A is more amazing than B amazing. B amazing. Well, the next, what's after B? What's after A? Yeah, but I would have thought no, B is one down. A star. Yeah, A star amazing. What do you have like? Oh, God. If you had a B in a test, it'd be worse than an A, wouldn't it? Okay, right, it's amazing. Sorry, it's amazing. Then an amazing job. Um, yeah, ninth on the grid for tomorrow. Need to work with this puppy because I've not. I haven't got much grip on the rear. In fact, two laps. <coughs> After two laps, I had literally no grip and they're just riding around shagging the tire even more. So we're just going to try and. We've, we've lowered the shock. We're going to lower the shock. And that should give us a bit more mechanical grip. Um, but the rest of the bike feels good, you just need to string it together and get in a, get in a rhythm. And uh, race tomorrow is at 2 o'clock, so should be reet. We're off to, uh, we're off to Groningen because apparently there's some red light stuff. I don't know what, it is. apparently there's some red, I mean, there's some red lights in here if we put some bulbs up. But apparently there's some red light stuff and like, I don't know. I'm going to check it out. We're not out till 2 o'clock, so we've just got a nice little one. Little grass. barrier. Nice grass, green grass there as well. So there's some green grass there as well, is there? Ah, right, green grass and red lights. Okay. Sweet. Oh, oh yeah, welcome back to Junior. I've got to say welcome back to Junior, Dougie. He's had a year off. He's just come back for, uh, for a jolly. For a jolly, yeah. He's going to have a weekend off here as well. Yeah. <laughs> So Saturday uh, after the race and the rain has come. Unfortunately, uh, it came a couple of hours too late and we had a dry race for uh, most of us. But yeah, we had a good, well, it wasn't a bad little run out, P8. Uh, a bit of a lonely race in the end. I got past Craig Curry who had that monster crash here last year. And um, P8, settled into P8 and I had a few seconds to the guys in front and a nice little gap to the guys behind me. So. Uh, the shock we lowered by two mil and instantly so much better um, you, know, you can't really tell but the tyre doesn't, doesn't look any better than normal but it's, uh, it definitely worked Looks so much more grip on the side for longer and um, yeah so we struggle really just with front grip and you can see that right on the edge of the tyre it's uh, well near to the sort of uh, the, the um, what do you call it? What are they called? Grooves. That's the one. Um, it's starting to get a little bit worn, and towards the end of the race, you push pushing the front while trail brake, and then I tell you what, you didn't really want to crash 140 on the brakes. So um, anyway, we took rather than whack a new rear in, uh, we're going to try and well, we put a new front on. We've got a new front for the race tomorrow, but apparently it's going to be wet. Um, Leon finished fifth. Unfortunately, Guyver won the race, um, which means Guyver's got the championship back again by six points. So it's a proper ding dong affair. But um, yeah, gonna if it's dry again, we're gonna put go stiff on the front and get a bit more support. Because uh, I tell you what, it was pretty sketchy. The last sort of three or four laps, I was by myself pushing for a lap time. It's getting a little bit squirrely on the brakes and. There we go. Anyway, job done. I mean, you barely know I crashed it. <laughs>